this yes to maths video. Area, this time of a trapezium. Typical trapezium will look something like this. Remember properties of a trapezium, and we'll have a pair of parallel sides. When we're finding the area of the trapezium, frequently refer to this A and B, which are your parallel sides, and the height. Formula to find the area of a trapezium. Add together A and B and divide by two, which is effectively finding the average of those two lengths. If you imagine this one to be the short one, this one to be the long one, when you add the two numbers together and divide by two, you're getting the average of those two, and then you multiply that answer by H, the height. Quick example, here's one. If I gave you the top value as six and the bottom value as eight, and the height here as five, we'd add together, 6 and 8 divided by 2, 6 and 8 is 14, 14 divided by 2 is 7, and then multiply by the height 5, 7 times 5 is 35 centimetres squared. Don't forget the units. One slight confusing question every now and again, we mean shape is a trapezium, but also has a right angle. Treat it exactly the same way, there's no need to split this shape into a rectangle and triangle. It is a trapezium, it still has one pair of parallel. So we have a top, let's call this one 9, and this one 13. If this is the height of 4, it might not have the arrow. We met this with the triangles before, it's still the height. We know it's the height because it makes a 90 degree angle with the base. So we would have 9 plus 13 divided by 2, a plus b divided by 2, and then multiply by our height of 4. 9 out of 13 is 22, 22 divided by 2 is 11, 11 times 4, 44 centimetres squared.